I'm I tend to when you see me in public and stuff I'm always smiling I'm always saying hi to people and I'm not afraid to greet them and whatever and part of that is because I'm like six feet and I'm about three feet wide I have huge ass shoulders I um uh, look like I should be a linebacker basically in a football team and now add the fact that you know I used to be around 400 pounds um, I'm a scary looking dude and I shave my head and which you know people not so much now but initially the people who look like Mr. Clean <laughs> uh, people were afraid of you know uh, and I kinda make sure even before you kind of beat me if I'm greeting somebody I don't go over the top I act like myself but I, I think the reason why I act this way is to make sure that people know they have nothing to fear by me I'm not gonna go crazy I'm not gonna go um, mental But I look like a person that could very easily do that. I look scary is basically what I'm saying. I remember when I first went from shaving my head because I went bald at a very young age. Uh, I do have plenty of cobble. I need some more stairs before I clean, climb up. And I should have, yeah, I do. Okay. Um. When I first was going to shave my head, well, I guess I'll tell you the story, because that's what this is, story time, and block placing time. I was talking to somebody online for a while, and, um, wow, I'm jumping all over the place. Let's just go back to this. When I was about 23 years old, I was already completely bald. I didn't have the Phil Collin bald. I had the full, I'm going to take you out, the full bald. But not even some of my closest friends didn't even know I was bald because I always wore either a Red Sox hat or a Bruins hat because I'm pretty fond of hockey. Um, so that's the Boston Bruins, the Baby Bees. Um, so a lot of people didn't even know I was bald. And I remember, and this ain't, you know, uh, a great story, I guess, should I should be saying online. But um, one of my friends was getting married, and uh, we had the bachelor party, and we were at a strip joint. And I remember, um, it was actually one of the people in the band I was on. I remember even the people in the band didn't really I was one of those people I took off my hat and people would go oh yeah that's right you're bald because I look so different and um, I was struggling with relationships and stuff and not really um, I was finding lots of female friends but I wasn't finding lots of female lovers so I asked one of the my friends what I should do and she's like okay you have long hair and you're bald. You look like freaking Gallagher, the comedian. That's not a sexy look. So, shave your head. Um, grow some facial hair. Women like the the uh, tough, angry-looking, scary-looking guys. And uh, I'm trying to think what else she told me to do. But uh, anyways, I did do that. And, uh, <laughs> amazingly, within four or five days, I ran into Stacy. And, amazingly, we're still together. We had a rough ride, a very rough ride. But we pounded out our disagreements and our insecurities and whatever is behind that stuff. I gotta get soul sand again, okay. So this is done. So where do we wanna go from here? Yup. Yupper, so sh do I just make a staircase up to 80? 
Let's see. Excuse me. Um, let's grab another thing of these. Oh, what am I doing? I'm trying to think, and I'm not thinking right. Wow. Learn how to change blocks that are in your hand. Okay, there we go. So, yeah. Um, my brother went bald really young. My even when I was born, the earliest memories of my brother, even when he was like a teenager, he already had the you know the partial baldness going on. Oops. Let's see. Oh, what level am I at? Seventy-two. So let's cut in, 73, 74, oh, my head, just hit my head on a rock. <laughs> so if you're, if you're a guy and you have a lot of female friends but no uh, lovers, ask one of those female friends, what am I doing wrong? How can I attract somebody like you? What is it about guys that you like? And, you know, if they're a good friend, they'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Um, and even Stacy said that she was attracted to me because I look scary. <laughs> yeah. So, that... I think it's funny. Okay, I'm just uh, cutting the, up this way. This, how long is this tunnel going to be? Oh, I thought I was getting to grass. How much does this have? 56. I should be able to get out of here. Maybe. Come on, really? Ah, finally. Do I have a, uh, I do have a shovel still. Yay! Sunlight! Or moonlight! So that's where it will come out, and then I can just bring the path around. So it's going to be like here. Yeah, I can fill in some of this. Well, actually, I don't want, do I want to fill in this? I think I might, and there's the, then have it come down like right around here. Well, let me go sleep, put the night away again. Um, she had made some clothing suggestions, and she also said if you wear whitey tidies, you might want to get rid of them. Uh, whitey tidies is kind of like, um, hmm. Oh, that's right. Let me put this down. Whitey tidies is wearing whitey tidies is kind of like uh I'm thinking that's the right way to do it. Oh yeah, hell yes. Okay. Thank you, man. <clears throat> It's not a way to... Wearing whitey tighties is like uh, oil and water, okay? Women are oil and whitey tighties are water. They don't mix. So unless you're Walter White, don't go there. Maybe it's different nowadays. I don't know. Oh, no. Fuck. Did I really... I did, I did. I'm off by one this whole way. 
jerk. So let's put, I'm going to have to put this down here because it's showing. Same with here. I don't even. I don't know. One thing uh, I was taught at a young age, if you see somebody doing what you want to do and you don't know how to do it, um, like in financially or, you know, how, how did you get this amazing girl? Uh, or things like that. The best way to figure out how to do it is ask the person what what did you do? Is that gonna be good? I don't know. Is it? I don't think I'm well I might put a huge thing up there. This is kind of proving a little difficult. Oops. I'm down to my last little bit of well I don't I'm also down to building my last little bit of stairs, so I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make some of these too. Um So never be afraid to ask somebody, um how they did something that they did that you are kind of jealous of or wanting to do yourself because can you imagine like if somebody came up to you and asked you how you did that it's great I want to do that in my life that would kind of like totally psych you out you'd be like oh yeah man thanks I can't believe that somebody actually wants to you know is looking up at what I'm doing and wanting to do it themselves so it's not like uh It's not something that people are going to be upset about if you go up to them and ask. They'll be flattered, is what I'm trying to say. So, just do it. You know, it's just like anything else. I'm afraid to ask this person out. Well, just do it, because what's the worst that can happen? No? Oh. Oh my god. This person said no. Yeah. It's not that big a deal. Just go out and do it. You know. Stop making excuses. As uh, people have said, some of the best quotes ever <laughs> are things you hear all the time and you just don't realize the importance of the words. How many times have you seen a Nike ad? Just do it. You know, that's what I'm kind of hinting at. Sorry, Nike sponsor, but hey, I don't, I'm wearing New Balance, by the way. Just to give this credibility here. Um, but the sayings you hear thousands of times, I mean, they lose track over time unless you remember or realize how important um, those words are. And just do it is like pretty freaking important because it makes sense. I mean, most reason, most, uh, reasons why people don't do things is because they're being lazy or whatever just go out and do it oops I'm just kinda hoping that this doesn't look ah scuzzy buzzy scuzzy wuzzy was a bear scuzzy fuzzy was a dare you wanna YouTube channel just do it you know you want to make daily videos or whatever just do it I know a lot of times these just do it are a lot harder than that but <laughs> you shouldn't um, see what a lot of people do is they see challenges and they go oh my god this is gonna be hard and uh, and reality it's not it's not 
you shouldn't be looking at challenges as being hard. You should look at challenges as, yes, I have an opportunity to, you know, learn this. I have an opportunity to figure out how to do this. So when this comes along again, it's not that scary. It's an opportunity. So that's what challenges are. I mean, come on, life is going to throw you melons all day long. And you're just going to have to take these melons and freaking make them work for you. So you're not destroyed by reality. Because reality can do that and it can piss you off. And uh, you don't want to be the person who's always looking at the negative and everything. You want to be the, the, I guess I should torch this up a little bit now. I don't want anything spawning in here while I'm building this. What am I going to run over there for? I don't remember. It's not that time yet. Kind of interesting to see how bad this looks or how good it looks. So after this staircase, um, obviously I'm going to have to, yeah, terraform a little bit around it. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I have faith that everything's going to be okay. I mean, I use the word faith and people think religion you can if you want I don't care it's your opinion your opinion doesn't really affect me unless I know you and care about you because also another thing I've realized working with the public as much as I do <laughs> you're never gonna please everybody You're going to have people, no, ma no matter what you do, there's going to be people who like it and people who are going to hate it. And you just got to do what you think is right, what is best, and do what you can. I think ultimately this is the best place for me to put this tunnel. It's maybe a bit of a pain in the ass. And I'm going to have, I don't know, you know, whatever. Oh. This tunnel will probably end, like, right here. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was a high sea burp when uh, I was helping Caitlin with that thingy. Uh, I grabbed myself a quick glass of high sea. So, let's go see what this looks like from a distance, and hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Don't, I should have two boats here. There's the other one. Let's go for a ride on a magic boat ride. A magic boat. Gonna ride the magic boat. I like The Who, but they're not one of my favorite bands. Wow. It blends in too well. <laughs> uh, there's four pillars there. Wow, it looks really sm small. Same with that. I'm going to wait till it gets a little bit darker. And yeah, I'm just going to... Um, what am I going to do? I am going to figure out how I'm going to make the stairway and finish the staircase, then terraform around it. Is this stuff lighting up like I want it to? Yes, it is. I like that. I don't know if that looks good down there. Um, the underwater light. Did I get rid of the underwater light over here and just bring it up to the normal level? So that's the first thing you see about this thing is that underwater light. I think I got underwater light over there too. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's a little strange, but I kind of like it. Um, nah. Let's go and take a nap real quick. And then we'll see. I was hitting the wrong key for some reason. Then we'll see uh, what we can do for the rest of this episode. Um, I have to figure stuff out for the staircase because I wasn't expecting to make the walls for the staircase today. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to give up on that and finish that um, that mining thing I was doing. Well, I'll bring you along. I'll bring this along. You can go. Um, 